welcome to my channel welcome to my video i'm gonna do a chill chatty vlog style video kind of talk skincare stuff that i've been dealing with lately something new that i tried that didn't work well for me and just do like a chit chat let's hang out also can we appreciate the latte art today not too bad there's nothing like that first sip. Morning coffee and that first sip hits different, I'm telling you. As you can tell, I have my frownies on. I recently got back into it. I kind of stopped doing it for a few months and then I bought a new pack because I just used up my other pack. This is probably my third pack. I mentioned this in a few videos way back when I lived in it, when we lived in our other house. And I decided to get back into it because for me personally, I do think that they work. I am someone, by the way, that has tried to sport. If you look at some of my uh, lash videos or things like that from, I think it was like the end of 2021, I wanna say. For about a year, I would do disport. I don't like talking about this kind of stuff because I see it everywhere and I feel like we are so bombarded with it that I just don't wanna be that person. But at the same time, I was that person. So I'm just trying to keep it real and honest. When I went in for a consult, it was for injections just being honest she was wonderful but she was saying how like they have a deal that i can get to support for free and she's been doing it since she was like early 20s or something like that and she has like no wrinkles it's like smooth like a baby's bottom and i have never never even considered getting botox or anything like that in the past and i'm sitting there like well if it's going to be free because of like a package that they had going then i guess i'll try it and disport unlike botox it's a little bit softer, I would say, and it kicks in a lot faster than Botox, but they do kind of last the same, and I did really love it. I mean, I was like, wow, like my wrinkles just smoothed out, and it's not like a filler, so it doesn't smooth out, like fill anything in like filler does. Filler, actually, when you inject it, it fills areas in with well volume. Botox, Dysport, Zeomin, all of those, they just relax the muscles, so it prevents you from making any movements. And I just loved how smooth my forehead was. I was all about that life. And then I personally just started researching it more and more. And this is where people go in different directions. You either go in one direction or the other. You, know, you do you, whatever works for you. But for me personally, I decided to give it up and haven't done it for over a year now. But then I started noticing, you know, my wrinkles are there again. And I'm fine with wrinkles. We're aging. But at the same time, you want to take care of your skin. So these frownies right here allow me to take care of my skin. At least for me personally. They're basically like craft paper. And they're sticking on the other side. You wet the underside. And then as you're holding your skin slightly taut, you don't want to stretch it out too much. You kind of place it where you want it. And then hold it there. And then overlap the other pieces where you want them as well and what this does is it prevents my forehead from making any movements while i'm sleeping i'm someone that has pretty overactive muscles i would say in the forehead probably why i have a lot of static wrinkles at such a young age and then add to that dry skin so it's like the perfect combination for static wrinkles you'll see when i'm doing a lot of my lash videos i make a lot of expressions and like all the lines come out those are not static wrinkles that's just normal forehead movement but with that forehead movement constantly doing that it can develop static wrinkles which is what i got so this keeps me from making any facial movements at night and then when you take it off which is what i'm going to do right now usually you take a little bit of water i'm not gonna lie usually you just kind of like rip it off and it can rip off your hair so do not put these on your eyebrows let me tell you that right now but you just take it off and as you can tell my forehead is it's a little bit red right now because my skin is pretty sensitive, especially when I just did something like that. But do you see how smooth and glossed over it is? This does not last, and I think this is where people get really disappointed with frownies because they expect their skin to be like this for the rest of the day. It doesn't last. Your skin kind of relaxes, everything goes back to how it was. But this does a few things. Not only does it keep everything smooth throughout the nighttime and it prevents you from making too many facial movements, it also kind of trains your muscles a little bit. So I'm very aware, especially after I got Dysport, I'm very aware of when I'm doing this versus when I'm just raising my eyebrows just a little bit so that I'm not creating too many dynamic wrinkles. So this kind of keeps you in tune. And over time, I truly believe if you use this every single day for a few months, let's say a month, two, I know it's really hard to use something for like three months consistently, 
but if you consistently use this i feel like you will see results it will look smoother it's not going to be when you were like 20 years old i mean unless you start when you're 20 which would be ideal i'm 31 but i feel like you will see little changes and for me this is the best non-invasive way it's easy when i do my skincare at night i just do this towards the end i kind of have a routine now so I just wanted to share my thoughts on that because I do think they're worth it. You just, you do have to be realistic about your expectations and then also be consistent. But to be honest, that's not even really what I wanted to talk about in today's video. That was just like a random little tangent I went on. I was on Instagram and I started following Noi Skincare and I love her account. She has so much great information. But the reason why I wanted to make this YouTube video is because she does something called the Skin Reset and so many people have so many great results and I feel like I'm one of those people where I will really dive into something, research it, read all the reviews, how to use it, why is it beneficial, is this something that can work for me and then I'll buy it, I'll try it and then I'm like this is not working for me, maybe I'm doing something wrong but it's really not working for me. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is because it did not work for me, it made my skin Oh, my skin was so angry with me, so angry with me. Basically what it is, is it's a skin reset using the Living Libations Sea Buckthorn Oil. This is an oil that is a cleanser. You can see that I used quite a bit, and this sucker is like, I don't know, $50, $60. And then I ended up buying the sandalwood one because some people I read in her stories do much better with the sandalwood one than the original one. So I was like, let me try the sandalwood one, and no. Mm -mm. I feel like I just wasted. This is why I wanted to make this video because I think we have to accept the idea that just because something works for 90 people, there might be 10 people that it doesn't work with and that's okay. But I wanted to make this video because I feel like I'm the only one that this doesn't work for. My sister actually tried it as well and she was noticing the same thing so that's when I stopped because we were kind of doing it together. She wasn't doing it exclusively like I was, she only did it like couple times where I was using it exclusively for two weeks but anyways back to what it actually is is this is like an all-in-one oil cleanser exfoliator of sorts and it smells pretty good I would say it smells very organic and natural if you will kind of like essential oils and what you do is you're supposed to give yourself a skin reset from all your cleansers all your skincare products all the, everything that you use only use this for about seven to ten days I did it for almost three weeks so that's very telling, first of all, because I was just like, this has to work, this has to work. It did not work for me, and I'll explain why. She recommends not wearing makeup, but I was like, okay, I can't do that. But she said, if you do wear makeup, it's okay. Just make sure you really, you're gonna use more of this oil to cleanse off your makeup at the end of the day. Make sure you're doing a good job. You take a cotton round, you wet it, squeeze out the excess water, do a few pops on the cotton round, and then go over your face. And you do this a few times, you do less in the daytime because obviously you don't have makeup on in the daytime and I would use probably four cotton rounds in the evening to really get everything off and then while your skin is damp you go in with a few pumps over your face and use this as a moisturizer I did this exclusively for like I said almost three weeks in the first week I was like wow my skin is so glowy it looks so beautiful and healthy after I use this it was just so wonderful who's calling me I don't know who that is. I do not pick up numbers. I do not know. That's something you need to know about me. If you need to reach me, you can leave me a voicemail, but I'm not picking up numbers. I do not know. By the second week, I started noticing a lot of congestion. For the most part, I kind of know what works for my skin, and my skin gets very, very easily congested, even though it's dry. And I noticed by week two, I started getting like a lot of those bumps underneath the skin, like closed comedone type bumps. They started appearing all around here, and I'm like, okay, maybe that's hormonal. I gotta fix my hormones now. And then by week three, my forehead was like littered. I'm trying to see if I can find a video on week two. It wasn't as bad. By the end of week two into week three, my entire forehead was covered in like all this texture and like all these closed comedones or whatever it was. My skin was so congested. I was so unhappy with my skin. I'm like, what is this? Like I can understand purging because my skin has gone through purging when I would do like a BHA in the past from Paula's Choice, like their lotion. It lasted a week or two, but then it went away. But this was like, it was getting worse and worse. And I was like, okay, I can, I know my skin this is not normal and i know i know somebody out there is going to be like girl this is what you should have done 
you should try this you should try that maybe there's something that i'm missing but i know my skin at this point and my skin was just so angry with me i felt so self-conscious about my skin i was like no i need to stop i need to reset my skin so i went to my handy dandy trusted skincare routine which is what i'm going to try again if this works for you and you love it and you want to look into it by all means it did not work okay this number's calling me again i'm wondering if this is my husband hold on because he's at the lamp right now hello hey oh i thought it was you why are you gonna is this your new number i guess it was my husband trying to call me so funny but i didn't recognize the area code because he got a at t he got a trial at t 14 day trial period because at the land where he is right now by the way if you watched my life update we bought land which is so exciting and they're doing the driveway but there's like no service there for verizon at all so he decided to try at t which is where the number he was calling me from through the years, I have tried a handful of different skincare products and I feel like there's always something new to try and the packaging is always so fun. At the end of the day, a lot of the products are super similar. It's just who you want to buy from and what you're looking for. For me personally, I have noticed that less is more. I kind of have my skincare down to what works for me. So in the morning, I'll do a cleanser and my cleansers, I switch out a lot. I've been using the Kors Foaming Cream Cleanser. It's like a creamy cleanser and it's very gentle on the skin. So for the morning, this is perfect. Then I got a package in the mail from Amazon Beauty, which is so exciting. It Cosmetics now sells on Amazon Prime. And no, this is not a plug. This was sent to me. I did not plan this. This is purely, I promise you, I had no idea this was even coming. This is like purely coincidental. I've been wanting to do this video. And then I got this and I was like, oh, perfect. I can, you know, try some new skincare products in the video. But I mentioned that is because I was going to buy a few products that I'm low on, the cleanser being one of them. But they sent a few things. So let me do a little unboxing. Thank you to Amazon for sending this. But yeah, A Cosmetics is now available to shop on Amazon legitimately, which is super exciting. There's the Confidence in a Cream Cleanser. And this one has ceramides, which I feel like ceramides are really good for your skin and hyaluronic acid my dry skin needs this so those are like the best of both worlds i didn't even know they have this and it's gentle it is a little expensive but i'm going to try it in today's video i feel like with your cleansers you can definitely go the cheaper route this one's expensive too but i got it on sale i think it was like 12 or 13 dollars whereas usually it's 28 if you can find something on sale i feel like that's the best they also set an eye cream this is their super peptide anti-fatigue eye cream and then this is a confidence in a cream and this is a transforming moisturizing super cream it has ceramides niacinamide hyaluronic acid wait why am i reading the french side ceramides niacinamide hyaluronic acid 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 squalane in a peptide lipid complex so this looks promising. They also set a serum. This is their Bye Bye Lines 1.5% Hyaluronic Acid Serum with peptide and vitamin B5. They sent their It Superhero Volumizing Mascara, which I have lashes on, so I won't be trying this. A Brow Power, ooh, I'm gonna use this today because I need to do my brows. Universal Brow Pencil. And then their Bye Bye Pores Pressed powder which i'm sure many people are familiar with so usually what i'll do is i will start off my morning with a cleanser a gentle cleanser i'm going on with dry skin right now and then i'm just going to dampen it i'm just going to grab some water and kind of go over the skin and gently cleanse it and then wash it off and then use a face cloth to kind of pat it dry down on super lazy days i usually just cleanse and then go into my dew glow moisturizer this one has spf 50 that's what i do on lazy days on days where i have time or if i have certain concerns that i want to target i will go in with a serum so i'm going to try this one I'm going to do one two three trying to not let the dropper touch my skin you can warm it up in your palms if you want it has a thicker serum consistency so it's not like water and almost seems like it has a bit of a grip to it once i do my serum i'll finish off with a moisturizer in the daytime i use this in the evenings i use my retinaldehyde cream serum this is what helped really heal my skin i feel like i feel like this using this almost every single day i didn't use it every single day because i did start to see a little bit of dryness but i have tried tretinoin in the past and for me and my sensitive dry skin no matter how much i tried i think it was like 0.0 five or something it was like really low percentage i tried it for three months at once then i tried it again and then i tried it again i gave it like two years and my skin was always so flaky 
I just wasn't willing to deal with it. It just wasn't for me. Again, it's one of those things. It just was not for me. It was way too much for my skin. And it's okay to say that. Sometimes it doesn't work for everyone. So I found retinaldehyde cream from Naturium. This one's 0.05%. I needed to look this up because I, it's like I know it in my head, but then when it comes to saying it, I kind of forget. So tretinoin is a retinoic acid. It's a synthetic form of vitamin A and your skin doesn't need to convert it to anything in order to be able to utilize it. But retinaldehyde is the last step before it converts to vitamin A, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know if that makes sense, but it's basically the step down from tretinoin-ish. And this has worked so well to really help my skin heal because it kind of targeted everything that I needed and everything that I was doing. So it really helped minimize a lot of the texture on my forehead. Again, my skin is still not perfect and I have a bad habit of picking up my skin. I don't know if you can see here, here, and all of here. If I stop picking up my skin, my skin does so well, but I just have such a bad habit of doing it. I need to stop. But this right here, if you don't do well with tretinoin, again, take everything that you see online with a grain of salt, clearly. And to be honest, I usually never use eye creams. But I have been using this on and off. It's the L'Oreal Revital Lift Eye Cream of sorts with like, I think it has some kind of form of retinol in it. And I love the little metal tip. It just feels really nice on the skin. And it's very affordable. I got it on Amazon. But I'm gonna give this a try. So this is their 2% Super Peptide Concentrate Anti-Fatigue. We're just gonna dab a little bit and tap it gently into the skin. I'm gonna try this anti-aging. I don't like when brands use anti-aging to be honest because I know we all wanna look our best, but anti-aging is just not a thing. So if we as a society can stop using that phrase, that would be great. But you apply this to clean skin in the morning and evening, blah, 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 blah. It smells nice. It's like, like a nice cream would smell and it seems moisturizing, but it's not, doesn't seem like crazy thick. Right, this thing is super hydrating. It does have a little bit of tackiness to it. I can see myself using this during the nighttime. I feel like this would be really great for the evenings. I love something very moisturizing in the nighttime. But for the mornings, I like something a little bit more light. And then this is just easy to use because it's kind of a two-in-one. It has SPF 50, plus it really moisturizes my skin. So I feel like I've used this morning, this in the evening. Another thing that I totally forgot to mention that has been super helpful is this vegan kombucha tea essence. So when my skin is really dry, this essence right here, I just shake it up. It's like a very milky consistency. You use it right after your skin is cleansed. You use this, kind of like pat it into the skin and it really like really hydrates the skin. And then you go in with your serum, moisturizer, whatever. So that right there. And then in the evening is the retin aldehyde and then top it off with a moisturizer. And then the frownies, I love me some frownies. And then once in a while I will do, I have like my Foreo UFO, I'll do skincare, like self care. I have some exfoliators, like masks of sorts that I love to do. I love masks, I love eye patches. But for day-to-day -day skincare, for me personally in my skin, I've just found that less is more and keeping it simple just works so much better for my skin. And it might not work for everyone, and I know there's so many, like there's a whole hashtag skin talk on TikTok, and it really gets people to try all these different things. So it just goes to show, just because something works for so many different people, doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you, which is what I wanted to share about these right here because I have heard amazing, amazing things. And I feel like someone's still gonna come after me because I feel like no one wants to hear that something that we love didn't work for somebody else. Everyone is their own individual and does what is best for that individual. You know yourself, you know what works best for you. So you have to be always taking everything that you see online with a grain of salt and Hopefully you guys found this video not just entertaining, but also like a little bit educational in the sense of what I went through. Maybe somebody else can relate, so I just wanted to share. But yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Basically done with my one shot espresso here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and hopefully I will see you in future videos.